watching the buck stops here and i'm barkha dat on the program this evening salman rushdi grabbed headlines yet again first with his visit to india as promised to ndi tv in fact and then with his comments at the india today conclave comments in which he ridiculed pakistani cricketer turned politician imran khan for dropping out of the india today conclave because rushdi was there rushdi hit out at imran khan calling him a dictator in waiting but now imran khan is hitting back and it's a veritable clash of the titans in the indian subcontinent imran khan in an interview to the buck stops here has described salman rushdi to be a small man remember rushdi even compared imran khan to muammar gaddafi calling him a better looking version of the dictator on the program today we'll be speaking exclusively to imran khan as he hits back these two big names in their own spaces raising the temperature of the debate imran khan speaking to us earlier our newsmaker on the buck stops here Imran thank you so much uh, for your time on the buck stops here pleasure as always to have you on the program now of course you don't need me to tell you the things that Salman Rushdie said about you at the India Today conclave a conclave from which you dropped out because he was there now he compared you with Gaddafi he said that your decision represented a kind of intolerance he called you a dictator in waiting are you stung by these comments You know, uh, Barkat, there are people whose views I respect, and maybe I would uh, worry about what they say to me, about me. But Salman Rushdie is someone I couldn't care what he says, <clears throat> because Barkat, he's someone who has caused so much pain to over a billion of people in this in this universe. Someone who is, um, you know, who knew the impact of what he did. You see I can understand westerners and the west people don't understand how we treat our prophet peace be upon him how we treat our holy book the quran how we treat religion in the west because they have a completely different attitude to religion but muslims live, live their religion and the way they react to especially the our prophet peace be upon him and the and the holy quran uh salman rushdi would have known about it because he's someone who grew up in a muslim household so therefore the fact that uh, you know he wrote the book and caused so much pain there was no way i was ever going to be on the same platform as him and so uh, whatever remarks he made about me i mean some of them are extremely petty i i i sort of whatever little i thought maybe this guy has got a, a brain and he's supposed to be an intellectual it just reflected on the mindset of a of a small man but frankly it doesn't matter to me what he says The fact is I was never going to share a platform with him.